ओम सहनावतो सहनो भुनक्तो सहवीर्यं करवावहै तेजस्विनावधीतमस्तुमा विद्विशावहै ओम शान्ति 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 ओम पूर्णमद पूर्णमिदं पूर्णात् पूर्णमुदच्यते पूर्णस्य पूर्णमाद य पूर्णमेवावशिष्यते ओम शान्ति 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 श्रुतिस्मृतिपुराणानाम् आलयं करुणालयं नमामि भगवत्पादं शंकरं लोकशंकरं शंकरं शंकराचार्यं केशवं बादरायणं सूत्रभाष्यकृतौ वन्दे भगवन्तौ पुनः पुनः ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मेदि मूर्तिभेद विभागिने व्योमवद्व्याप्तदेहाय दक्षिणामूर्तये नमः चैतन्यं सर्वगं सर्वं सर्वभूतगुहाशयं यत् सर्वविषयातीतं तस्मै सर्वविदे नमः वर्ष नंबर फाइव स्वप्नस्तत्यो यथाबोधाद् देहात्मत्वं तथैवच प्रत्यक्षादेव प्रमाणत्वं जागत्स्यादात्मवेदनात् व्योमावत् सर्वभूतस्थः भूत दोषेर विवर्जितः साक्षीचेता गुणशुद्धः ब्रह्मेवास्मितस ब्रह्मेवास्मिसकेवलः नामरूप अक्रिया भयन्यः नित्यमुक्तस्वरूप वान अहमात्मा परम ब्रह्मा चिन्मात्रो हम सदाद्वयः अहम ब्रह्मा स्मिकर्ताच भोक्ताचास्मीति ये विदुहु ते नष्टाग्न्यान कर्म अभ्याम नास्तिकास्तुर्न समस्य है तो इन द लास्ट वर्स भेदा भेद मताम सारिन है those who have the matter or the understanding that Veda is teaching both Veda as well as Aveda that is the teaching of Veda that the Atma is Bhinna as well as Abhinna in the state of cause that is Aveda state of effect that is Veda in clay, there is a Veda. In pots and pans, there is a Veda. Or, 
In Karma Kanda, the Vedas teach that Atma is of the nature of Karta Bhokta. That you perform the karma such as Nihutra here and you experience the result in heaven. So one who is Karta here becomes Bhokta and it must be the same in entity. So Atma is Karta and Bhokta. That is what the Vedas, the Karma Kanda teaches and it is Pramana. Since Veda is Pramanam, therefore Karma Kanda also is Pramanam, therefore what the Karma Kanda teaches that Atma is Karta Bhokta. And Upanisha teaches that Atma is Brahma, you are Brahma. Ekamevat, one without a second, so that also is Pramanam. So their conclusion is that, that Veda, the entire Veda is Pramanam. And Veda is teaching these two things that Atma is Karta Bhukta as well as Brahman. Aham Brahmasmi Karta Cha Bhukta Asmi Chasmi Ti Ye Viduhu Those whose Vedanam, the understanding, the conclusion is that Atma is Karta Bhukta based on what the Karmakanda says and Atma is Brahma also based on what the Upanishad or Jnana Kanda says. Te nashtaha Jnana Karma Abhyam. They are lost to both the Jnana and Karma. Meaning that they have not understood the Jnana Kanda or Karma Kanda. Because one Pramanam such as Veda, no Pramanam can teach contradictory things. That when you perform karma, you are a karta hokta. And when you are by yourself, you are Brahma. So your nature is conditional. The truth cannot be conditional. It has to be one. So if both are supposedly taught by Vedas, one of them should be true, other must be properly understood. We cannot say that what the Karma Kanda says is not true, but it is conditional. Based on certain conditions, what Karma Kanda says is true. Which the next verse explained. But those people who conclude that this is the teaching of Veda, the Ratna is Karta Bhukta as well as Brahma, they have they are lost or they have no benefit of of Karma Kanda as well as Gnana Kanda. They have not understood either of them and therefore, in effect, what it amounts to is that they do not consider Veda as... They say Veda is Pramanam. But at the same time, they say that the Veda is teaching these contradictory things. So what teaches contradictory cannot be Pramanam, therefore, by accepting this contradictory teaching, they are in effect declaring that Veda is not Pramana. So, Nastikas, Nastikaha Sivu. If Veda is not Pramana, then there is not Pramana Karma, all Gnana, anything. So, they are, they, are, they are deprived of both Karma and Gnana. So, they do not realize what is the meaning of what they are claiming. It's called self-goal. Self-goal means you are scoring goal against your own self. So then the, tea, then the discussion continues. Nano. Ninda matrena katham advaita mata siddhi. This is because you condemn us. Te nashtaha jnana karmabhyam nastikaha. That is how you are 
censuring us, condemning us, calling us nastikas. Ninda matrana katham advaita ikamata siddhi, just because you condemn us as nastikas or non believers, how does that establish advaita, advaita ekamata siddhi that advaita alone is? We don't say advaita is not. Advaita also is and Dvaita also is. You are claiming Advaita alone is. How do you just, you know, how do you establish that? By condemning us, how do you establish your Paksha that all there is Advaita? Tatra Pramanasa Sambhavat. There is no Pramanam, there is no means of knowledge available to us. To determine that what there is is one non dual. There is no pramanam for that. Ataha. Therefore, this is what he said in the next verse, verse number 9. Dharma, Dharma, Phalair Yoga. Ishto drishto yathat manaha Shastrad brahmatvam apyasya Moksho jnana tathesya dham You say that there is no pramanam that atma is brahman or non dual Veda is the Pramanam. When you say this Pramanam, in what way? Dharma, Dharma, Falahi, Yoga, Ishtaha, Adrishtaha. So Tika says, Atmana, Dharma, Dharma, Falahi, Sukha, Dukha, Dirupahi, Yoga, Sambandaha Pramanantari Adushtaha Adushtopi. See, there is no way for us to establish that the one who performs the karma is the one who experiences the result. We don't have any anything, any pramanam, any means to establish that. That what I'm experiencing now is the result of the karma I performed. There is no way to establish that. So, dharma, dharma, phali, yoga, adrushta. Yoga, sambandha. Dharma gives rise to sukha, adharma gives rise to dukkha. So, sukha, dukkha. Therefore, when we experience sukha or pleasure, it is assumed that it is a result of dharma or punya karma, virtuous action I must have performed in the past. And when I have to go through pain, then we assume that it must be the result of some vicious action, a dharma I must have performed in the past, done in the past. So there is no way of establishing this connection. Even then, you are accepting it. Whole karma kanda is based on the law of karma. Law of karma is law of cause and effect. As you sow, so you reap. So, not only that the karma phala is commensurate in keeping with the karma, but the second thing is, so the one who performs karma is the one who experiences karma phala. No, we have no way of establishing our, with the means of knowledge available to us. We have no way to establish this. Adrishta. Still ishtaha. Shastra, next line says Shastra. So, Atmana, Dharma, Dharma, Phalayo, Adrishto, Yoga, Yatha, Ishtaha. Just as the association of Atma 
with dharma adharma is unknown to us meaning that there is no evidence or no means available to us to establish the connection of atma with dharma dharma and karma phala is to have and still it is accepted how tika says punya vai punya na karma na bhavati Papa Papa and Etia de Vi Ista Hangi Kirta. Still, we take it for granted based on a statement or a similar statement of the Vedas. Punya way, Punya and Kermana Bhoti. Papa Papa and I. You perform Punya Karma, then you become Punya Van and therefore experience happiness. Papa Papena, on the other hand, you perform vicious actions, then you result like the experience you are a papi and therefore experience the pain. So that statement, which here comes from Bruhudana Gopanishad, connects these things that one who performs Punya Karma becomes Punyavan. And one who becomes papa karma becomes papi, so that's the connection of atma with the karma and karma phala is in fact stated in this statement of Veda. So we accept that. So that becomes the basis for the karma kanda or for us to accept the yoga or the connection of atma with karma and karma phala. Punya, Punya in a Karmana Bhoti, Papa, Papa in a Karmana Bhoti. Punya in a Karmana, Punya Bhoti is a Punya Karma, is with Atma and becomes Punya as a result. Papa Karma is also said with Atma, becomes Papi as a result. So this statement clearly establishes Yoga or Samanda or connection of the Atma with dharma adharma. Although there is no other way for us to know that on our own, we still accept that based on the statement of the Veda, which we call Pramanam. So Veda is the Pramanam for that. You don't have any the Pramanam. But Karma Kanda also does not have any Pramanam, any means of knowledge other than the Veda. to accept the connection of Atma with Karma and Karma Phala. So, Ishtaha, Angi Krutaha, Shastra, Thavid, Bhiti, Shesha. Still the connection of Sosya, Atma and Karma and Karma Phala is Ishtaha means Angi Krutaha, is accepted. Shastra they would be not by ordinary people, by the people who know Shastra. Ordinary people who follow what the Shastra Shastra Thavit. What the knowers of Shastra say is what we accept. But how do they ac- accept based on this statement of Veda? Is Veda is Pramana? So it's not that ordinary people have arrived at this understanding. It is a knowers of Shastra who arrived at the understanding based on what the Veda says. That means that your basis of Kartratva Bhoktuta performing karma here and experiencing result in this Swarga or elsewhere or Naraka is all based on simply statement of Veda. Veda is a Pramanam for that. There is no protection from no experience and no other way for you to connect. So if you just accept the base of karma kanda simply from Veda, then why can't you accept the base of jnana kanda also from Veda? Brahmatma api asya imoksho jnana tathesyatam asya brahmatma api then asya atmana brahmatma, that atma is brahman, that also accept based on what the Veda says. 
ब्रह्मवेद ब्रह्मयो भवति ज्ञानादि मोक्ष अहम ब्रह्मास्मी क्लील से दर आत्मा इत ब्रह्म ब्रह्मवेद ब्रह्मयो भवति इट सेज दैट द नोर ऑफ ब्रह्म बिकम्स ब्रह्म दैट इज कॉल्ड मोक्ष दैट वन नोज वन सेल्फ इज ब्रह्म एंड दैट आल्सो वेदा सेज and by knowing brahman one becomes brahma and then becomes liberated that also veda says so veda specifies both the nature of knowledge that atma is brahma and nature of moksha which is becoming brahma so brahmatva vyasya moksha gnana tatha ishata so what we are claiming that atma is brahma and therefore that knowledge which means is equivalent to becoming brahma is means of moksha that also comes from veda so if you derive your basis of karma from veda then we derive basis for gnana also so we are not condemning you just like that ninda is not based on simply figment of imagination we are basing our assertion in the same manner that you are basing your assertion tamme viditva atimrutme edi nanya pantha vidyate ayanaya that is vitasthu upanishad tamme viditva atimrutme edi tamme viditva mrutyam atyedi that ati goes there tamme viditva tamahatmanam viditva अति मृत्यु मीन्स मीन्स मृत्यु अति एति अति एति ही ट्रांसेंड्स डेथ बिकम्स इमोटल बिकम्स लिमिटेड लिबरेटेड बिकम्स मुक्त सो दैट स्टेटमेंट ऑफ द श्वेता श्वेतर क्लियरली सेज हाउ द नॉलेज ऑफ सेल्फ इज द मीन्स ऑफ मोक्ष नान्य पंथा विद्यते अयनाय अदर देन नॉलेज that i am brahman i am i am for the destination for moksha nanya pantha vidyate there is no other way other than self knowledge for attaining moksha means karma is not when by saying that nanya pantha vidyate i am i am ayanaya for destination of moksha anya pantha na vidyate anya pantha the the marga or the means other than knowledge is not there the karma is not the means so that should be also revealed that karma is the karma is condemned as a means of moksha tatha cha bhed karmano ninditayo by saying the aham brahma asmi the bheda between aham and brahma also is dismissed and by saying that gnanam knowledge alone is a means of moksha karma is a means of moksha also is dismissed so bhed karmano ninditayo that very statement also rejects bheda between atma and brahma and rejects karma as a means of moksha not rejects any karma in other way shastra tatparya vishatva yoga so what is rejected or what is condemned cannot be the tatparya cannot be what the shastra wants to convey to us it cannot tell us that karma is a means of moksha and then condemn karma it cannot say that atma and brahma are different and say that they are one so then what is the tatparya of the shastra what is the purport what is the meaning intended to be conveyed by shastra that we have to only arrive at shastra makes statements from that we have to arrive at what is the intended meaning what is the tatparya and there are certain basic rules by which we arrive at the tatparya 
ಅಂದರೆ ಅವ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಕೆನಡೋ ತಾತ್ಪರ್ಯ ಕೆನಡೋ ಇಂಟೆಂಡೆಡ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಮಿಸ್ಡ್ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ತಾತ್ಪರ್ಯ ವಿಷತ್ವಯೋಗ ತರ್ವ ಭೇದ ಕೆನಾಡ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ತಾತ್ಪರ್ಯ ಕರ್ಮ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೋಕ್ಷ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕೆನಡ್ ಈ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ತಾತ್ಪರ್ಯ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಬೋಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕಂಡೆಮ್ಡ್ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ತುಂಬ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಫೆಲೋ ದರ್ ಆರ್ ಕ್ಲೇಮಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಅನುಸಾರಿಣ ದಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯು ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ವೇದ ಇಸ್ ದ ಪ್ರಮಾಣ ಅಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಫಾಲೋ ದ ವೇದ ಆಸ್ ದನ್ ಯಥಾಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಅರ್ಥ ಯಶಸ್ಸಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಅರ್ಥ ಪ್ರತಿಪದ್ಯ ಇದು ದಿ ನ್ಯೂ ಶುಡ್ ಅರೈವ್ ಎಟ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರತಿಪತ್ತಿ ದಿ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಕನ್ಕ್ಲೂಷನ್ ಕಿಮ್ ವಿ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಸೋಳಿ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಸೇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಅಭೇದ ಆತ್ಮ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಅಭಿನ್ನ ದೇವನ್ ನಾನ್ ಡಿವ ಎಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಮೇಸ್ ಅ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೋಕ್ಷ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಯುಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆರ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ವೇದ ಎಸ್ ಪ್ರಮಾಣ ದೆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ತಾತ್ಪರ್ಯ ದ ವೇದ ಸೊ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಸೇ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಕಂಡೆಮಿಂಗ್ ಯು ನಿಂದ ಮಾತ್ರ ವೇದ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಈಸ್ ಕಂಡೆಮಿಂಗ್ ನಾಟ್ ಕರ್ಮ ಕರ್ಮ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೋಕ್ಷ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ವೇದ ಇಸ್ ಕಂಡೆಮಿಂಗ್ ಭೇದ ಆಸ್ ಅ ರಿಯಾಲಿಟಿ ನಾಟ್ ಭೇದ ಆಸ್ ಅ ವ್ಯವಹಾರ ಬಟ್ ಭೇದ ಆಸ್ ಅಲ್ಟಿಮೇಟ್ ರಿಯಾಲಿಟಿ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ದ ಫಾಲೋ ಆಫ್ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ದೆನ್ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಫಾಲೋ ದೆಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ದೆಟ್ so don't say that we are condemning you and dismissing you we are just following the shastra nanu atmanah dharma dharma phala yoga hai shastrokta hai manantar virodha bhavad tathaiva iti yujyate so again now questioning your conclusion that this is the tatvarya of shastra the argument is presented atmanah dharma dharma phala yoga shastrokta hai shastra hai se punya vai punya na karmana bhavati paap of paap and therefore the yoga the sambandha the association of atma with dharma dharma pava punya is accepted by shastrokta so you should accept it mananta virodha bhava also for us to say that this is what shastra says it should also be necessary to establish that it does not contradict any other pramana if your conclusion of shastra conclusion from shastra is such that it is goes out of you know is against reason again accepted means of knowledge then that your conclusion cannot be right shastra is pramana all right but other pramana are also there so shastra should not be saying something that contradicts other pramana shastra can't say this is night right now Shastra cannot say that you are not talking. What is established by other pramanas also should be accepted by Shastra. There must be consistency. So the Karmakandis say that there is no contradiction to this. That Atma is connected with Dharma, Dharma. He is Mana, Antara, Viro. There is no other pramanam, no Pratyaksha other pramanam that contradicts this conclusion that atma is connected with dharma dharma tathai vaiti therefore we should accept that on the face value punya vai punya na karmana bhavati papa papena there was the yoga sambandha connection of atma with punya punya must be accepted on the face value tathai va because that statement does not contradict any other experience if you have an experience is no no i did not do dharma and i got this result or i did a dharma if you have some other way of establishing which contradict the statement then we will to question but nobody is experience 
which contradicts this statement. Therefore, we have to accept that statement and what it says, namely the, san- the association of Atma with Dharma Dharma on the face value. The second thing is Atma Brahmatvam, that Atma is Brahma, that also Veda says. But we should accept that if it does not contradict our experiences, that Atma is connected to Dharma Dharma, does not contradict any experience. But what is my experience? I am a Jiva Atma and therefore that I am Brahman is contradicted by my experience. Natatha Atma Brahmatvam. That Atma is Brahma is stated in the Veda all right. But that can be Tatpari of the Veda because that contradicts our experience. So to rethink your conclusion. Pratyaksha drashta kartatvadi virodhat because it is my direct experience that I am a karta, bhokta, sukhi, dukhi. So my pratyaksha or immediate experience contradicts the statement that I am Brahman. So that statement cannot be accepted on the face value. But that I am Punya, Papi, etc. is something that is in keeping with my experience. Therefore, that part should be accepted. So the Guru Pakshi says that these two statements are not of the same, they don't have the same status. One statement is not contradicted by other Pramanam, so we take on the face value. Other statement appears to be contradicted by our, our personal experience that I am not Brahman, therefore it should be thought about, rethought. Ataha Shruti Anubhavayo Avirodhaya, therefore, you have to reconcile between what Shruti says and what our experience says, there should be reconciled. So, After all, the Shastra has to explain our life and not make a statement which contradicts the life. Suppose Shastra says something that is contrary to our life, how are you going to understand that? You are not a human being, suppose it says. This is not daylight. Then how are we going to reconcile with that? Similarly, when it says, you are Brahman, that contradicts my experience that I am a Karta, Bhukta, Jiva, Atma, Deva. How do I reconcile? Therefore, we should interpret the statements in such a manner that they also account for our experiences. What is the experience? Kartrutva, Bhuktrutva is experience. Therefore, This Aham Brahmasmi and Aham Karta Bhokta, they will be, this is that Tatpari the Veda will be in that. If you have to evaluate or judge the statement Aham Brahmasmi in keeping the experience that I am Karta Bhokta, that means that Aham Brahmasmi also is true under certain conditions. Aham Karta Bhakta also is true under certain conditions. Then only you can reconcile what the Veda says with our experiences. Therefore, Veda Veda Adhanaya Vede. So only way we can do justice to what the Vedas teach us is if we accept this conclusion the Veda is teaching us Bheda Bheda. In certain conditions there is Bheda. Other conditions, Bheda, both are equally right. Idiche. So again the Puru Pakshi makes an argument to justify his position of Bheda Bheda. Idiche, if this is your contention to establish the Bheda Bheda, says ma evam, no? Your reasoning is not right. Kartrutvadi pratibhasasya asatvat. 
you are basing your conclusion that atma is karta bhokta based on our experience but kartrutvaadi pratibhasasya asatvaad the kartrutva bhoktrutva which you think you are experiencing about yourself is a pratibhasa is only an appearance and not a reality about you asatvat that i am karta i am bhokta that is pratibhasa that is an appearance and not a reality about i am meaning karta bhokta they do not enjoy the same degree of reality as i am that they cannot be joined because one is satyam other is mithya therefore shutyakta advaita pratipakshatva and therefore the so called experience that i am karta bhokta cannot contradict what the shuti says am brahmasmi you follow aham karta aham bhokta that so called experience cannot contradict what the veda say that i am brahma because even when you say aham karta bhokta you not karta bhokta that kartrutva bhoktrutva that you think it is in you is a pratibhasa is an appearance like a color in a crystal that when you say that crystal is red see that is a pramana when you say crystal is red then also it is not red is a pratibhasa redness in crystal is a pratibhasa is an appearance so so when you say that ham karta ham bhokta it is not real because kartrutva bhokta is pratibhasa in atma it appears in atma it doesn't belong to atma they do not make atma karta bhokta they appear in atma just as the red color appears in crystal doesn't make the crystal red therefore pratipakshatvano patte therefore that experience so called experience ahankar da aham bhokta doesn't have the strength of contradicting the statement ham brahmasmi it is so now that statement or experience ahankar da aham bhokta is examined whether that so called experience does it really reveal the nature of atma or it reveals a delusion or brahma about atma aham karta aham bhokta which you claim is your experience that conclusion does it reveal the nature of atma or it reveals only a brahma or a delusion about atma because brahma and prama you have established now you have to ascertain just because you see something doesn't make it real right i see a snake that doesn't make it right this is a snake is it a reality or is it brahma is it prama or brahma so so hum karta asmi suppose when you say that is it prama or brahma they think it is prama we say it is brahma this snake is not prama not true knowledge is brahma a delusion where snake is a pratibhasa so this is a snake the snake does not have the same reality as this is you follow although you come join them but this is is real snake is pratibhasa so even though you think this is a snake even though you make a statement this is a snake that does not establish that this is a snake that does not that does not contradict the knowledge this is a rope this so called experience that this is a snake does not have 
the strength to contradict the Shastra statement, this rope, rope, Shastra says the rope. I say the snake. So when I experience the snake, how can you say this rope? You know Shastra says so? He says, you think that you are experiencing snake, are you? What you are experiencing is rope. And you are you believe that you are experiencing snake, where snake is a pratibhas and appearance. Therefore, this statement or your so-called experience, this is a snake, cannot contradict the statement this is a rope. Pratipakshatu anupatteheti sadhushtantamaha So, how this so-called experience cannot be a pratipaksha or a contradictory thing, contradict what the Shruti says, is explained by dhushtanta. Yamaha Rajanadhyastaha Vasana Swapna Darshibhi Anubhuyanta Eveha Tato Nyakkeva Lodrushihi So that experience here is uh, brought to our attention, where we feel that I am experiencing a given thing, whereas it's just an appearance you are experiencing. It is dream. So, in the dream you feel that, that already came earlier anyway, aprabodhat, but anyway, sapna satya aprabodhat was said, but now we are talking about the experience. So in the dream you experience that, you, know, you experience a variety of things. You experience an elephant and a mountain, etc. You really experience them? Or what you're experiencing is merely an appearance of mountain and elephant? It's an appearance. How do you say that? Because the scripture says that. <laughs> That in the dream you are not experiencing objects, you are experiencing vasanas. The vasanas which are inherited from the waking state experiences. Those vasanas present as though there is a tangible object there. And not recognizing that what you are experiencing is vasana, you take that to be real experience. So just because you think that you are really experiencing something, that doesn't make it real. It is the pratibhas of an elephant, pratibhas of a mountain, not a real elephant or mountain. So kartra bhaktutva is a pratibhasa, not a reality. So the tikagara, this is a statement that comes from the Bruhadaranika Upanishad. Tas e tasya purusha sarupam yatha maharajanam vasa iti arabhya yatha asakrut vidyuttam iti antena sutyuktahaya vasanaha In that passage in Bhuradhanika Upanishad, Shruti has described a variety of vasanas. And how those variety of vasanas create variety of experiences? With the dreamer doesn't know that these are all the things created by vasana, he takes them to be real. So, this comes from the Brihodaranika Upanishad. Tasya etasya purushasya rupam Tasya adhyayivikasya etasya adhyatmikasya linga purushasya manasa vasana vayam idam rupam Etasya purushasya Of this person, the dreamer, 
Rupam Manasaha Vasanamayam Rupam This is the, the form of the mind which is made of Vasana. Yatha Maharajanam Yatha Loke Maharajanam So Maharajanam Maharajanam Maharajana means Haridra, means turmeric. Taya Raktam, suppose you have colored a, a cloth with Maharajanam, Haridra, then the cloth also becomes, uh, you know, uh, yellow in color. Vasaha Vastram, so just as there is a color which is dyed or colored, a cloth colored by turmeric. Then many other things are stated here, so it the Arab beginning from there, then Yatha Pandva Vikam Yatha Avikam Avedam Avikam Purnadi Ishat Panduram. So just as there is this wool of a lamb which is white <coughs> or grey, Ishat Panduram. That's another color basically. Then Yathaja Indra Gopaha Kita Vishesha, some kind of a worm. Kausum bhavat atyantam rakto bhavati, that's a red, this Indra Gopa is a red, uh, you know, worm. So, these are all different colors, yellow color, gray color, red color. For those colors, different examples are given, different examples are given. Yatha Agnyarchihi, just as the flame of the fire. Bhasvaram Bhavati, bright. Yatha Pundarikam, Pundarikam is white also. But that is bright, this is white. Shuklam, Sakrut Vidyuttam, or it is like Hiranyagarvade, Vasanarupam. Vidyuttam Prakashakam Sarvata Prakashakam In short, in dream, people have variety of experiences. Some can be yellow, some can be red. Now all these colors, Tatha Jnana Prakasha Vivrudya Pekshaya Kasede Hiranyagarvade Vasanaru Upajayate So how these different colors are there? So vasanas are also different colors. It doesn't matter what that particular experience stands for, but a variety of experiences are there, which create corresponding vasanas, which create in waking state we experiences, which create vasanas, which create corresponding experiences in dream. In waking state you have the real experience of a tangible object. But in a dream, you think that you are experiencing that object. What you are experiencing is just the pratibhasa. That's all the thing is there. But why is this Upanishad quoted as a pramanam? In the dream, what one experiences are nothing but vasanas. In the dream, you are not experiencing tangible objects. You are experiencing vasanas. Pratibhasa, the appearance of the objects or what you are experiencing and not real objects. Meaning that what you are experiencing may be a tangible object or it can be simply an appearance of an object. So experience does not necessarily become the basis of Conclusion, 
You have to analyze what is the nature, what you are experiencing, that is also important. When you experience something, we take for granted that we are experiencing something tangible there. But that may not be the case, as in dream. That's the whole idea. So in short, Kartrutva Bhukti is what you are experiencing. It could very well be Pratibhasa, not a reality. It's a superimposition or appearance of Atma. Here, Tikakara here also explains. So, Maharajanam. So, Maharajanam is Haridra. And Maharajanam is Ranjitam Vastradi. Maharajanam means turmeric. Maharajanam, a cloth which is colored by turmeric or having turmeric color. Swapna dashayam jagadvasana vasana vasitasya mana. We studied this in great detail when we were in that hall. Where the Upanishad described the different nerves in the body having different colors. Those nerves are like transparent tubes, fine, you know, capillaries, which are different colors because they carry fluid having different colors. So what's the reason why the fluid has different colors? Says Vata, Pitta, Shleshma, Dushita, Rasapura, Nadishu, Anugatasya, Vata, pita, Pitta, Shleshma. Pitta is red, Shleshma is white, Vata, whatever it is, you know, so uh, you can call it grey or something. So these three, these humors, Vata, Pitta, Shleshma, have different colors. And depending upon what's happening in your stomach, then accordingly, so the bile that is created, or whatever is flowing, the fluid that through those fine nerves, will be of that color, therefore nerves also appear to have different colors. Okay? Then, Atushtadi samudbodita aneka vasana vasanata jagrat drashtartha kairana parinamanasya then those colors are now samudbodita. They are woken up. They are, uh, what shall I say, invoked, provoked by adrushta, by karma. So in the dream also, depending upon what karma is playing itself out, those various nerves, the various fluids in the nerves, they will be activated and they will appear as corresponding objects. In short, lots of vasanas are there from the waking. In the dream, which of those vasanas will manifest themselves as objects? That is determined by karma, adrushta. That is why we have different kinds of objects and different people are different objects and so forth, so karma. But one thing is, the objects that you experience in dream are nothing but the modification of what you experience in waking. Because waking experience creates a subtle impression called vasana, which when is woken up, then that vasana alone becomes a corresponding object in the dream. Haridra Ranjita Patadirupa Sadrushaya Vasamanasya. So mind is like the cloth, and vasana is different colors. So mind is colored by different colors of vasana. And the mind appears as all those various objects. This is the object, this mind that becomes mountain and that mind becomes elephant and mind becomes good, bad, indifferent based on the vasana. Which is again invoked by karma. (laughs) 
ದ್ರಷ್ಟೃ ದೃಶ್ಯ ದರ್ಶನ ತತ್ಕರಣಾದಿ ಭಾವೇನ ನಿತ್ಯಂ ಸ್ವಪ್ನ ದೃಷ್ಟ ಉಪಲಭ್ಯಮಾನತ್ವಾತ್ ದೇ ಫಾರ್ ದಟ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅಫ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ದಿ ಇನ್ಫ್ಲೂಯೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಸನ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ದ್ರಷ್ಟ ದೃಶ್ಯ ದರ್ಶನ ಅಂಡ್ ತತ್ಕರಣ ಇನ್ ದ ಡ್ರೀಮ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎ ದೃಷ್ಟ ಆನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ದೃಶ್ಯ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೌಂಟನ್ ಎಟ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ದರ್ಶನ ದರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ತತ್ ಕರಣ ದ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ದ ಐ ದರ್ಸ್ ಎಟ್ ಆರ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಡ್ರೀಮ್ ಓಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ಬೈ ವಾಸನಾಸ್ ಸೊ ವಾಸನಾಸ್ ಅಸ್ಯೂಮ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದೃಷ್ಟ ದೃಶ್ಯ ದರ್ಶನ ಮೆನ್ ಪ್ರಮಾಣ that whole infrastructure which is required for an experience is all propped up or created by vasanas nityam swapna drishta upalabhimanatvat so whenever swapna drishta or the dreamer perceives or experiences the experience involves the experiencer experience the experiencing a means of experience in all of these are always presented by the vasanas which vasana will that be determined by karma so this is vedanta's explanation of the dream experience swapna drushya abhyah maharajanaadi sudusha vasana abhyah therefore what all is experience in dream is nothing but the vasana maharajana adi sadusha vasana abhya like the cloth which is dyed or blue colored in a yellow turmeric similarly also the mind gets colored by the vasanas and there appears as corresponding objects that vasana creates a drishta drushya darshana everything lingatm saidabhya so that is the lingatma or the subtle body id atma id by subtle body that is this dreamer drishta atma drishta swabha what is the true nature of the dreamer the dreamer the dreamt the dreaming the means of experience all of these are present by vasanas understand that therefore the self that experiences all of these has to be different from all of them therefore lingatma saitabhya drishtatma the drishtatma so atma is drashta perceiver of what the illuminator of perceiver perceived perception rushis swabhav so atma cannot be any of the, all these are all drashya understand that if you take the dream experience then drashta of the dream darshana of the dream drushya of the dream the karana of the dream all of these are presented there by the vasanas all of them are pratibhasa appearances and when they illumines all of the sas will different from them so the dream experience shows what is the nature of atma ಆತ್ಮ ದೃಶಿ ಸ್ವಭಾವ ವಿಲಕ್ಷಣೋ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಯತೆ ಸೊ ದೇವ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಡ್ರೀಮ್ ಇಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ಎನ್ ಆತ್ಮ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ದೃಶಿ ಸ್ವಭಾವ ಆಫ್ ದ ನೇಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಾನ್ಷಿಯಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ವಿಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸರ್ ಆರ್ ಇಲ್ಯುಮಿನೇಟರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬಿ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಇಲ್ಯುಮಿನ್ so drashta drushya darshanam pramanam all in the dream all of their illumined they are all part of the subtle body they are illumined because in dream it is subtle body which is predominant 
the gross body is not there. So all of these are modifications of the subtle body of the mind. Dashta, dushya, darasanam, pramanam. Therefore, dushya svabhava, lingatma, saita, abhyaha, vasana, abhyaha, dashta. But different from all of these vasanas, the dashta is atma, dushya svabhava. So this is to be understood how the dream experience helps us understand the nature of Atma as Drushi Svabhava because Atma is not Drashta Svabhava because Drashta also is, is known or element. So Drashta, Drushya, Darshanam, Pramanam, all of these are element. One subtle body or the mind takes the form of all of these based on those vasanas. So there, as Prashnava says, that uh, 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 Devaha Mahimanam Anubhavati Tatra. In the dream state, the Devata means my mind experiences own Mahima. How one mind has become the Dashta, Dushya, Darshanam, etc. Experiences that. He said that, but he can experience all of the element. Therefore, the dream experience, if you analyze the dream experience, and that is why it is important to understand that all of these are created by vasanas, that all of these are appearances, namely drashta, drushya, darshanam, all of these are because they are products of vasana, therefore they are appearances, pratibhasa, and atma is different from all of them, what is different then? Only Drushi is left. Drashta is not Atma, Drushi is not Atma, Dashi is not Atma, Drushi is Atma, Drushi is Swarupaha, Yusabhava, Vilakshana. All together, distinct from all of these, Lakshade is what is here now suggested, pointed out. The dream experience itself now suggests or points out that Atma is Drushi Swarupa. And then Upanishad confirms that. Tatha Kartratvadinam Drushyatvat Anatma Dharatvam Evayati. So Dashta, Drushya, Darshanam, all of these are Drushya. They were Anatma. And they were, they are not Atma. So that karta also is not atma. The idea is that how kartatva, bhoktatva is a pratibhasa. That is what the uh, Siddhanti wants to establish. So it takes to dream experience. How in the dream, the karta and the karma and the karanam and the kriya, all of these are nothing but the modification of subtle body or the mind based on the vasanas. That Configuration is Dhritma Vasana. The Atma is none of them. Atma is distinct from all of them. Therefore, it is very clear that Kartrut, Karta, Bhokta, they are all appearances, Mithya. Therefore, that Atma is different from Karta, Bhokta, is established from the dream experience. There is a waking state also. Tatha kartrutvadinam dushyatva anatmatam eviti nishchitam eva ihe jagradavastha api. That karta, bhokta, etc., which are determined to be mithya in the dream, that karta, bhokta is mithya in the waking also because there is nothing to make them real. So the analysis of dream experience establishes that karta, bhokta and all the whole world is mithya. The same setup is found in the waking state also. First to establish that the dream experience is a result of vasana. There are no, because there are fellows who say that there are real objects, is there not? You don't say real elephant. Is Vasana my elephant? 
So that is first established. That they are not real, they are appearances. And that includes karta also, bhukta also. Therefore, the analysis of dream experience establishes that karta, bhukta, all of these are appearances of mithya. Tatha kartrutvadiyana drushyatvad because in dream the karta and all of the drushya anatma dharatum dharadhyadi therefore anatma and not atma same nishchaya then continues the waking also in waking also the kartrutva bhoktrutva that you think belongs to atma is not illumined by atma just as there are illumined in the dream so in waking also, there are illumined by Atma, there are Anatma Dharma, not Atma Dharma. Therefore, Aham Karta Aham Bhukta is not a real experience, it is an appearance. You cannot, you cannot uh, present that experience as an evidence that look, what we say does not contradict Veda. That our experience confirms what the Veda says, that Atma is Karta Bhokta. No, it's not an experience, it is only an appearance and not that. You're not experiencing Kartrutva in Atma, in the waking also, it is only Pratibhasa. Therefore, your experience does not establish the Kartrutva, Bhoktrutva of Atma. And therefore, you cannot conclude that your experience contradicts Aham Brahmasmi. Tata Kartratvadi Dharmakad Lingat The Linga means subtle body of which the nature is Kartratvadi that because the nature of subtle body. Anya Kevala Shuddha Drushi Atma Ityartha Our Atma is Lingat Anya different from Linga Sharira subtle body which is what we arrived at by analyzing the dream experience. Anya, Kevala, non-dual, Shuddha, all, imp- all impurities are illumined. Drushihi, just shining, that's all. Drushi shining, consciousness, Ityasa. So how beautifully the dream experience is analyzed and how the experience enables us to confirm Aham Brahmasmi, not Aham Karta Bhukta. So that way the contention that we are experiencing Kartruta Bhukta Bheda. And Upanisha Aham Brahmasmi, all that Bheda Bheda, Adarniyo, says no. Veda is not a real experience. Therefore, doesn't fall in the category of Pramanam. That cannot be the basis of conclusion about nature of Atma. Anu it eveha tata anya kevalo drushi. Therefore, Atma is tata. Different from the Linga Sharira, which is karta bhukta. Anya kevala, non dual. Drushi, the nature of the drushti or consciousness. <coughs> okay. Om Purnamadaf Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachare Purnasya Purnamada Purnameva Vashishare Om Shanti 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 Shankaram Shankaracharyam Keshavam Badarayanam Sutra Bhashya Krutau Vande Bhagavantau Punaf Punaha Ishvaro Guru Ratmedi Murti Bheda Vibhagine Vyoma Vadvyapta Dehaya Dakshina Murtaye Namaha Om Shanti 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 Hari Om 
ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿಯೋ